News right now. Today marked an historic day in Washington when the U.S. Senate confirmed the first black woman to the Supreme Court, Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson. The 53-47 vote in favor of Judge Jackson carried extra emotional weight for some state lawmakers from Memphis who recently had a front row seat in support of her confirmation. Brad Broders explains in tonight's top story. Shortly after the U.S. Senate confirmed Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson, Memphis-based lawmakers Ramesh Ackberry, London Lamar, and Karen Camper wiped away tears and beamed with pride. What I thought about immediately were our ancestors. And man, how they would be feeling right now. We can ensure that justice is for all people and not just some people. And I applaud her for being a great representation for black women. All three black women showed their support for Judge Jackson last month in Washington, D.C., standing outside the Supreme Court in solidarity with other lawmakers. And to see this history, her story, being made and to be able to witness it and have been in D.C. for at least part of it, it's pretty amazing, and today is a day of joy and celebration. For State Senator Ackberry, Judge Jackson's Supreme Court confirmation also carried immense personal pride. This is a dream realized. When I was in the eighth grade, we went to the Supreme Court, and I knew then I wanted to be a lawyer and, and never could imagine someone that looked like me would ascend to our highest court. After at times contentious confirmation hearings, these lawmakers also applauded Judge Jackson's steadiness under pressure. She handled this process with dignity, with poise, and she is something that all of us can be proud of. We moved toward a more perfect union. It just hit me all at once. And that's why I'm still a little emotional right now. Ackberry, Lamar, and Camper now look forward to another milestone this summer when Judge Jackson will officially be sworn in and join the Supreme Court. In Memphis, I'm Brad Brodus. Well, all six Mid-South Republican senators from Tennessee, Arkansas, and Mississippi all voted no on Judge Jackson's confirmation. Now, as you heard Brad say there, Jackson won't take her seat on the court immediately. After taking two oaths, she'll fill the seat of Associate Stephen Breyer, who will retire in June.